Hi there. Are you just starting out as a translator? Do you need to build your portfolio? Well, it's difficult to get hired without already having a portfolio, so how can you build one in the first place? Hum, that's a tough one. Let's discuss it. Hi, I'm Yvonne. You might remember me from other videos on this channel. A first method for building your portfolio is to find a website in your source language and translate it into your target language. Make sure you're not infringing on any copyrights though. Once you have completed the translation, you can offer it to the website to use as their official translation. This way you have a portfolio you can point to online. And here's a pro tip. Go to Wikipedia and find pages not yet translated into your target language. Then you can create the translated version yourself. The second method for building your portfolio is to contact NGOs or any charity or nonprofit organization and offer to translate their material. These organizations often don't have much of a budget, but might really appreciate a translation done for free. The pro tip here is to contact TED or Translators Without Borders since these use volunteer translators and have a system for accepting them. The third method I recommend is to find companies or organizations in your specialization. So if you are a legal translator, you can approach a law firm or a legal conference organization or another type of client in the legal industry. Here you can ask them if they would like you to translate their website since you specialize in their industry. Or, similar to what was mentioned before, just translate their homepage and once you're done, you can contact them and say something like, Hi, here is a translation of your homepage. Feel free to use it if you want. And if you would like, I can translate the rest of your website for a fee. Of course, even if they don't want to pay you for the entire job, offer them the part you did translate regardless. That way you can still use it in your portfolio. Why am I floating in front of a building? The fourth method is to find someone you need a service from an offer to translate some of their material in exchange for a free service. For example, if you need a new website, you can offer to translate some of their material in exchange for a free website or a discount. There is a fifth method, but please be careful with it. This is performing a translation for a friend. Remember, your translation may not be exactly what is needed, and it can create awkwardness if they're not satisfied with your work. So just bear that in mind when approaching friends for unpaid translation jobs. If you still have nothing in a pinch, you can just find a newspaper article or something and translate it. Remember, you cannot claim this as an official translation, but it is still a translation you performed, so you can include it in your portfolio. And that's it. If you found this video useful, don't forget to lightly tap the like button and subscribe to see more of my face. And possibly Robert's. And obviously to get more videos about translation and freelancing material. And as Robert would say, Sa Vedum.